The city of Gainesville has a lot to offer, and I should know because I was born and raised here, but the larger city and the university town vibe that Gainesville offers isn't for everyone. Maybe you want the conveniences of Gainesville, or you work here, but you don't necessarily want to live in the city limits. If you prefer living in a smaller, more rural town, but you don't want to live too far from Gainesville, then there are many great towns in the area to choose from. In this video, I'm going to tell you about four of the best towns near Gainesville. So let's get started with Alachua. Alachua is the second largest city in Alachua County with about 11,000 residents. It's located about 22 minutes or 16 miles northwest of Gainesville, and it would take you about 25 minutes to drive back to the University of Florida. The average home price in Alachua is just over 300,000, which is lower than the national average. Famous for its stunning natural landscape with rolling hills and streams, Alachua is a quiet rural community with plenty of outdoor activities. Some of the great things you can do outdoors are hike at San Falasco Hammock Preserve State Park, go berry picking at Deep Spring Farm, or feed the horses at Mill Creek Farm. You can also visit any of the town parks nearby. Alachua also has the Hal Brady Recreational Complex with baseball, football, soccer fields, basketball courts, picnic tables and shelters, and a playground. And some of the fun things you can do in town include dining at a variety of restaurants or hitting up happy hour at Draft's Cow Brewery or Beaker and Flask Wine Company. You can also join a walking history tour of downtown or shop along Main Street at the boutiques, consignment shops, and gift shops. Next up is the town of Newberry. Newberry has a smaller population than Alachua with about 8,000 people. It's about 32 minutes west of downtown Gainesville and it would take you about 25 minutes to get back to the University of Florida. The average home price in Newberry is just over 320,000 which again is below the national average. Newberry is a small town with a distinctive charm that maintains a historic district and has been placed on the National Registry of Historic Places. Newberry was developed as a mining town after phosphate was discovered, but when the war was declared in 1914 against its main customer for phosphate, which was Germany, it became an agriculture town. Agriculture still remains a focus in Newberry to this day, which is evident by the town's annual watermelon festival. Newberry is more rural with larger lots and offers many outdoor recreational opportunities. Residents enjoy a variety of outdoor activities and the natural beauty of the nearby springs and forests. Also, the Newberry Parks and Recreation Department offers youth and adult sports and manages more than 80 acres of parkland with numerous facilities located at each site. Those include many baseball and softball fields, beach volleyball courts, basketball courts, archery ranges, walking trails, and playgrounds. The town also has the Newberry Sports Complex, and if you enjoy nature, you'll want to check out Dudley Farm Historic State Park, which is east of downtown. If you prefer the downtown area, you'll find a variety of restaurants and shops, as well as local events and performances. Real quick, if you're new to the channel, my name is Donovan Arnold, and I'm a local real estate agent here in Gainesville, Florida. I make these videos to share with you exactly what you can expect if you're moving to the area. And recently, I've had a bunch of people reaching out with questions about relocating to Gainesville, and I absolutely love it. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. I'm happy to help. Now, let's go over and talk about High Springs. High Springs is located about 32 minutes northwest of downtown Gainesville and is about 28 minutes back to the University of Florida. This small rural town has a population of just under 7,000 people. The median home value in High Springs is just under $300,000, which again is lower than the national average. Despite the town's small size, High Springs offers quite a few things to do and attracts over a million visitors each year. Visitors come to enjoy the clear blue water springs, which are Poe Springs, Blue Springs, and Jenny Springs. Also, if you enjoy visiting natural springs or enjoy canoeing, kayaking, tubing, or fishing along rivers, you've also got the Santa Fe River nearby. If you want to experience High Springs small town charm, you can find antique shops, boutiques, cafes, and restaurants all downtown. There's also a ton of community events and clubs, such as the farmers markets, community theater, and a variety of civic groups. High Springs also has several community parks, as well as Alino State Park, and it does offer many community centers, as well as the High Springs Sports Complex. Next up, I'll talk about Hawthorne. 
Hawthorne is situated about 20 minutes or 16 miles east of Gainesville, and it would take you about 23 minutes to get back to the University of Florida. Hawthorne is going to be the smallest town out of these four, and it has about 1,700 residents. The median home cost in Hawthorne is just over 190,000, which again is significantly lower than the national average. This quaint city is known for its agriculture, railroads, and rural lifestyles. For things to do, Hawthorne has a few parks, including an athletic park, as well as community center, wellness center, and the Hawthorne Museum. There are a few restaurants and businesses, but you'll most likely need to drive back into Gainesville for more shopping, dining, and entertainment. Outdoor enthusiasts should feel right at home in Hawthorne. They'll find many nearby lakes, including Lake Johnson and Little Orange Lake. You can also go hiking, enjoy the views, and have a picnic at Little Orange Creek Nature Preserve or visit Little Orange Creek Nature Park for a relaxing getaway. For history buffs and literature lovers, there is also the Marjorie Kincaid Rollins Historic State Park where you can see the author of The Yearlings Historic Home. Although these towns don't offer all the conveniences of Gainesville, they do offer a more quiet, slow-paced atmosphere as well as a high quality of life. I'm curious, do you prefer living in a smaller town or a larger city? Down in the comments, let me know. Now that you have a better feel for some of the towns around Gainesville, you'll want to watch this video where I share with you exactly what you need to know before you move to Gainesville.